so position has got to be got by topping it through. Yeah, we had to play that, Sid. That was a shot to nothing, in effect. We say that, but we know what Efren's like. Does he look at the back shot? Knowledgeable shot? crowd here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. I appreciate Davis's attempt. Fine. I'm doing myself. Bottom left. Anywhere he likes. Well, we couldn't find C. It's only how he was addressing that ball. <laughs> 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 Here I come. Oh, no, 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 they were applauding the combination and the fact that the ball went in as well. But Efron would have. <laughs> Hello there, pool fans. Welcome to this electrifying clash of titans where the maestro Efren Reyes steps onto the battlefield against none other than the snooker icon and six time world snooker champion, Steve. Davis. This much awaited nine ball match marks the grand finale of the 2001 World Pool League. The stage is set for a showdown between two remarkable and accomplished players representing the Philippines and England. So get ready for a thrilling clash of skills and strategies. Efren Reyes won the lag but came up dry on his break in this opening rack. Steve Davis makes the one ball into the side pocket, but the cue ball collided with the nine ball resulting in a bad shape onto the two ball next. The English player attempted to kick at the two ball but missed. As a result of this foul, Efren Reyes gets ball in hand. The magician now has a favorable table layout for a run out to secure his first point. The World Pool League was an annual nine-ball pool tournament held in Warsaw, Poland. And Efren Reyes from the Philippines secured his first track in this race to nine match. Moving on to Rock 2, Steve Davis executed a strong break. He potted two balls and has an open shot on the one ball. Steve Davis is a retired English professional snooker player. He is best known for dominating the world of professional snooker during the 1980s. And the English player showcased his skills securing his first point of the match. Let's move on to Rock 7. Now the score is currently 4 rocks to 2 in favor of the Filipino player. Efren Reyes delivered an impressive break shot, sinking 4 balls. And, 
and he has chosen to play a safety on the two ball. But Davis can still see the two ball from his position. And the English player executed his counter defense brilliantly. Efren tried to thinly cut the two ball into the corner pocket, but he missed his mark. Now, this is typical of Efren Reyes's style of play. When an opportunity presents itself, he never hesitates to take it. On the other hand, Steve Davis will seize this opportunity to get back into the match. Steve Davis is not a player to be underestimated. He reached the World Snooker Championship Finals eight times in nine years, securing six world titles. Moving on to Rock 8, the score stands at 4 racks to 3, still in favor of Efren Reyes. Steve Davis had a dry break, giving Efren a chance with this open table layout. At this time, Efren Reyes is 47 years old while Steve Davis is 44. Some of Efren Reyes' notable victories this year include winning the Tokyo Open and Nine Ball Championships in Japan and winning the 2001 World Pool Masters title. And he has performed very well in local and international events at this time. Here we are at game 9. Efren keeps his lead to 5 games to 3. Efren made a ball on the break and does have a clear view on the one ball. but decided to take a push out anyway in this situation. Davis now has to decide either to shoot it or pass back. Davis decided to take the opportunity and played safe. Yes, he was certainly playing safe there. Be a slightly better result than he intended, but... Oh my goodness. Efren played a defensive shot as well and almost scratched this time. And he has now left Davis a challenging position. <gasps> the English player tried a counter safety, but he has now left Efren with an open shot. Little bit too fast, I think. <laughs> yeah, that was the problem. This is a typical response from Efren when he makes a mistake. He often laughs or playfully smacks his head. He's a very fun, cheerful, and relaxed player. Unique combination. Look, which from the discipline of snooker. So he could look. On the other hand, due to his snooker background, Steve Davis is known to be a serious player. However, despite this demeanor, he is a player who will dominate if given an opportunity. He is just one rock behind Efren with a score at 5 rocks to 4. His own break. A tremendous break there. 
In Iraq 10, Davis executed a strong break, sinking two balls. He also has an open look on the two ball next. Good as anybody's. He opted for a defensive shot here, but he might not anticipate what Efren Reyes is capable of. With his skill at the swerve, it's it was odds on you get it. That's it. Well, they were applauding the combination. What a shot from the magician. He was able to massage the cue ball and made the combination shot. But Efren missed the top shot on the four ball afterwards. And Steve Davis was able to capitalize on that mistake. Race 10 9. Here we go at rock 11. The score is tied to five rocks apiece. Superb shot. Yep, superb draw. Again, he's left the angle on the four. A friend makes a really good break in this rack, setting himself up with an open table layout. Straightforward eight ball. Tap in this. Tap in the nine. And just like that, Efren regained control and is back on the lead 6 to 5. Bottom rail. I think he is. Two ball, that's the blue two. Onto the black eight, he'll be trying here. Well, bonus. I get lucky. The magician makes the three ball while attempting the kick shot on the two ball. Fair to say that's it. Very delicate shot is played. Spells at the moment. The World Pool League is held every year, where six notable players were selected oh to participate in each event, which lasted for three days. Corner pocket, he'll be playing. To come back down for the green six at the bottom of the table. Beautifully weighted shot. Nah, well it was so straight that he had to draw, he had to do severe draw. And despite its name, the events were invitational tournaments not a league in the usual sporting senses. Long. Tremendous pot there. Steve Davis once held the world number one ranking for seven consecutive snooker seasons. Also position has got to be got by topping it through. Yeah, we had to play that Sid. That was a shot to nothing, in effect. We say that, but we know what Efren's like. Steve Davis made a two-way shot here on the eight ball. He went for the cross-corner bank shot but missed the mark. But he left Efren with a challenging position here. Fine, I'll do it myself. Bottom left. Anywhere he likes. Well, we couldn't quite see if Danny Harry was addressing that ball, but we both had a rough idea of how long he was prepared to take that bank shot. Just for seven. Efren Reyes is now in full swing. He is on the aggressive side and takes every opportunity to capitalize and dominate the snooker king, Steve Davis. Here we go at rock 13. Unfortunately, Efren scratched on the break. Just needs to land shot. Put an extreme bottom spin on it. 
Bottom right hand side to increase the angle. Steve Davis shows no weakness here and is still determined to win this match. He may be running through it. Yeah, two rails he's tried. Oh my goodness! Extreme draw. He was prepared to move that ball nine feet. But to everyone's surprise, a huge mistake by the English player. He failed to put the four, giving Efren an open table and a possible run out. Just where he wanted it. Idea. Bottom and side. If the Filipino player runs out here, he will be on the hill first. Although both players have the skills to win in this tournament, Efren Reyes somehow dominates and is ahead of Steve Davis. The magician from the Philippines. One more mistake. Oh, savage, Moving on to rock 14, while Steve Davis executed a good break, he needs to be cautious with his approach to the two ball, giving its challenging position. But he played it safe and opted for the push out. Really mean a bank here. <laughs> I don't believe if it missed. Nice. Just... the edge of this two. Let's see who emerges victorious as both players engage in a tactical battle. Efren gained the upper hand after executing an incredible kick save on the two ball. This pressured the English player into making a mistake, providing Efren with an open table to potentially clinch the match. While many believe snooker is tougher and transitioning to pool is easier due to its larger pockets and smaller table, this is a misconception. Pool is not just about putting balls, it requires style, technique, and strategy to win. And Efren Reyes is a testament to the fact that pool and snooker are distinct disciplines, each demanding a unique skill set and deserving respect. After an enthralling finals match, Efren Reyes triumphed over snooker legend Steve Davis with a score of 9 to 5. The magician's edge lay in his precise kick shots, giving him the upper hand and allowing him to dominate the match. With this victory, he clinched the 2001 World Pool League title, once again bringing honor to his home country, the Philippines. Don't forget to like this video, Pooh fans. Thank you very much for watching. God bless everyone.